Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill Ten Rats. Welcome back to Legends of Eisenwald. First things first, it occurred to me that last time we fought the ghosts here, I was a little bit cavalier about the whole thing since I'd done it before, but I didn't remember that when I did it before, something went terribly wrong with the recording and I started over and then didn't do it again because I couldn't win it at the time. So, sorry about that. Uh. I didn't realize that you guys hadn't even seen that yet, so yeah, we can call out a ghost by going to the land tip here, we have seen the various legends and whatnot, and we've already taken care of Klaus, I'll let you read this one then, because I think I skipped over that. There's only one sandy cave by the lake and I'm standing on it, if what a legend says is true, then that's the place you can call one of the knights, enchanted by the maid of the lake, but whose name should I call? We'll now call Calvin. Knight Calvin Hartmut of Zwischenküste, awake and come out of the lake. I wish to set you free. And there he comes. And how is he configured? Okay, yeah. Uh, how are we set up? Yep, that's exactly the right configuration, I feel. So let's have him uh, come to us by speeding up time again. And then we'll just meet him there. And hopefully we'll be able to beat him before he takes down our uh, before he takes down our healers and whatnot. Uh, wow. Okay, he is uh, very much the softer target, I would uh, say. And thanks for leaving my young noble alive, so we can get him some health back. Now. None of these... Oh, he can actually be damaged regularly? What the hell? What kind of ghost are you? Wait, why can't we damage these guys? That's a bit weird. Okay. I, um... I approve. Uh, let's have you poke the ghost then, so we can maybe get those down. You go... Oh, wow. Oh, you only do the absolute minimum damage then, I guess. I think minimum damage is actually 5. That just did 4? Hmm, I'm not sure how that works. Never mind. Apparently these two are the more... Uh, oh, maybe because of the suppression and everything that might actually influence the damage we're doing. Never mind. We'll be able to get rid of these guys pretty soon, hopefully. How about you? Okay, now we're not doing any damage anymore. I'm confused. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, the silver weapons still seem to be doing their jobs and nothing else is working again. Hmm. Now they're physically invulnerable. That's odd. Yeah. Don't really get it. Okay. Hmm. Damn it. Kind of hoping to... Okay, thank you. Because I was, uh, was kind of worried, like, how would I get to... To that one. Okay, now we're doing damage again. Uh, okay. And we got another ember. And we leveled up! Yay! Why are you taking my men away? It's cold for me to sleep on the bottom of the sea alone. Be gone and don't return. I guess we made the... Maiden or the, the whatever it was called the lady of the lake mad By taking all the knights away That's a shame Let's get healed Sell the ember Hmm Okay, let's check our noble Chappy here. Uh, we could go for the heavily armored route again, or we could go for the duelist route. Um, what are you getting there? Shield use, already got, I think. Lance. You can use a lance. Really? Well, that's a spear, not a lance, but still, he can use a lance. 
Oh, of course, because on horseback you use a lance. Yes, yes, yes. That makes a lot of sense. It's like, huh? Are you using a lance uh, just by... Yeah, I think he gets the riding skill. Uh, momentarily, momentarily confused there, as always. <laughs> um, okay, can we get you anything here? Mm, not in so many words, I don't think. Okay. Now then... What else can we do? We have gotten the Glatze guys out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm tempted to leave a garrison. At least in the castle. Uh, what can we hire here? Another one of these. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Do a little bit of castle back and forth because... Um, I kind of want to have at least a little bit of stuff here. Don't worry, I think I'll pick these guys back up again. I'm just kind of wanting to have a maximum of castle support that I can free up to recruit more people. And I'm going to be recruiting these pretty randomly, I think. So I'm going to hire an archer, going to hire two peasants for the moment, maybe we can find something better at the inn, because the peasants are a bit of a waste. Green George, I think we've already talked to, these are all mercenaries. Um, can we hire a noble in here? No. Kulsitze, I don't want to talk to you. Two nobles, actually. Oh no, that's a mercenary as well. God damn it. Now we have to pay our mercs soon again. Uh, yeah, the peasants are... Hello, traveler, you look like a man from Erzgland, so why not stay in your mountains? Now is not the time for walking, a slaughter will start soon. You guys are just all psycho... Pass. Why am I fighting? Why? Hmm. Who is this? Jerzy Luckland. Well, I wasn't exactly prepared to do that. God damn it. This is probably not something we can win. Nope. I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I guess let's uh, let's start on the main event then. That's annoying. Wait. Yeah. Okay. We are going to get screwed here. Hmm. Yeah, there is no point to this, so I'm gonna reload this because it's uh, a little... You know, not what I wanted to do. So how far back are we? Okay, he's leveled up. Is he? Yes, he is. Okay. Right, so that was a bit annoying. Um, I'm just doing a little of castle management off screen and then I'm just going to cut it out and we'll resume the more watchable activities. <laughs> All right, this will have to do for the moment. I'll just leave it at that. It's not a great garrison, but at least it'll get some experience. I'm uh, going to keep an eye on you know, strengthening this uh, this place a little more in the future, just because um, I don't want to lose all my uh, my holdings and my income. 
We do have a nice bit of income now due to conquering the Glatze Raubritters, which is quite convenient since, you know, all these mercenaries want to get paid and they are expensive. I'm still not 100% on board with getting rid of them. Actually, you know what? You know what? Screw you. Hmm. Okay. Right. Uh, like this. And... Let's get this guy healed. Let's smash this guy into the ground. And... Um, Go stab at this guy. Oh, we shooting. We're shooting the archer, I think. Because he's gonna do his charge up thing. No, he's not, actually. Interesting. Thought he was gonna do his charging up thing. Now he's not gonna do anything anymore, so that's okay. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, dispatch the... Oh, okay. Damn it. Uh, let's get him healed again, since he's basically tanking. <laughs> uh, one more down. Now the archer brigade can go and get rid of the rest here. Oh, we can't actually reach him. Oh, never mind. We'll shoot the boss instead. Uh... Okay. And the rest gives up. Thank you very much for this generous donation to the cause of uh, Heinrich. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Minus 2 plus 4 money plus... No, that's not... Very good. He's already got it. How about you? Okay, nice. We can get you some armor. Can we get you something more, I wonder? We can get you a nice hat. That gives initiative. For 61. And plus two ranged attack on one of our bowmen. Hmm. 111. Nah. I'm gonna try to keep the treasury comparatively high. I'm actually kind of... Mm, torn on keeping a horse and letting the young noble mount up. Maybe we should try that sometime. Just gonna need to find a lance. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep it around and, and let the young noble uh, do, his, uh, do his thing. Let's get some healing going. But yeah, this uh, this outcast was being a little irritating, so don't irritate Heinrich. It's it's not a strategy for a long and fruitful life. Uh, what am I doing here? I didn't want to go here. Okay. Ooh, ambush. That's an ability that I haven't seen before. But it'll take us to. Mm. Can sell this for 471 here apparently. It's a really good price. I'm going to make a trade here. Because I want to know what ambush is and I want to show what ambush is. So let's. Uh, oh! They also had arrows. What did they have? Silver arrows. Oh, hell yeah. So much for keeping my treasury together. Uh, I guess we'll sell the horse after all, but silver arrows, yes, please. Uh, and this is for a character class that I never really use. 
It's like the, the witches and evil wizards. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. But yeah, let's see what this ambush thing is and does. Okay, I'm gonna swap it out on you. If a battle takes place in swamps or forests, then attack and initiative of a character is increased 50% during the first turn. Who would like that the most? You are more of a... If I use you correctly, as has been pointed out, you're more of a passive character. Uh, I don't really use these guys correctly. They're probably more supposed to wait for the enemy to actually spear themselves on the... Well, spear. Uh, young Noble, maybe? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna get rid of the... Actually, what, what does, what's Heinrich's weakest? Um, this is all pretty good. Yeah, let's get rid of this. And let's get the young noble... The amulet. Oh, this is nice that that works. Automatically assigns itself to the proper slot. We already have the fox fang here. Let's get the fox fang on you too then. Uh, plus five health can never hurt. What's this? Willpower? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's get... You're not using this, oh yeah. Wow, okay. Even though it's ostensibly uh, angelic with Raphael, I doubt that means the artist. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it to one of the mercs then. Just have to remember to strip them again so they don't actually piss off with it. Um, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be working as intended, by the way. Uh, this just seems to be something that affects me every now and again on this save game, I'm not sure why. But intended is for the... For the troops that you let go to actually... Remove the gear that they got from you before they leave. So that's definitely not something that's working as it should. Are we at Blixie yet? No, we're not. So you have to sort of use the map repeatedly just to see where we're going. Who are these guys? Bandits. And not a hell of a lot of them. Let's say hi, maybe. What the hell is he doing? I think he's riding an invisible horse. Hello there, my floating friend. Well, let's stay away from him. He's a witch. He's in line with Satan. Got him an invisible horse. Don't look at my horse. My horse isn't amazing. Okay, sorry. I uh, have to save and talk to Olle. Ah, Heinrich, I'm so glad to see you again. Shall we feast in my hall? Unfortunately, I don't have time for this, Olle. I spoke with the Chancellor and I learned from him that according to the terms of the city, you must return Castle Blixey to the city. And you believed him? This is nonsense. Werner wanted to get his foul hands on it and when my father was leasing it. Now the old rat will not go quiet until he snatches out my lands from me with such falsehoods. But he should not hope too much because he's... He has not a single document confirming his words. Truth is on my side, and if that's not the case, Werner should at least try to prove it otherwise. Mm. No, I'm not going to go against this guy if I don't have to, so I'm going to suggest a meeting. What if we go to Windfeld and find out who is in the right? Are you really so naive, Heinrich? I believe neither von Sterch nor his people, and I prefer not to even appear in Windfeld. What if he arrests me once I walk through the city gates? I will stand on your behalf, and I guarantee you will be dealt with in a just manner. Olle narrows his eyes in thought. Finally he speaks, almost grudgingly. Well, Heinrich, I have no reason to doubt you. Let's go. Okay, then. Uh, I'm kind of trying to not do the, you know, meat-headed brute force approach for once. Especially since I feel like uh, this guy is actually someone, you know, we had so few uh, opportunities to 
actually treat people somewhat in a friendly manner that now I'm sort of went, now that we've actually found a new friend <laughs> it's kind of a dick move to go like oh no I, I will take the word of this chancellor over anything you say so let's see if we can bring this to a resolution that's actually beneficial to both parties or at least allows some um, Ola to to not get completely screwed over not that I really believe that there is such a chance Heinrich, Olle, good, I was expecting you. Come in. Well done, Heinrich, you managed to bring this simpleton. I am sure he will enjoy his new accommodations quite a bit more than his previous one. Guards? A trap? Damn my gullibility. Heinrich, did you know of this? Did you truly lie to me? You seem better than this. Object. Yes, we will object. I hate to disappoint you, Lord Chancellor, but I didn't bring Olle for this. I gave him my word that everything will proceed in a just fashion. I intend to keep it that way. What an actor you are, Heinrich, but there is no need to pretend anymore. You can simply do away with the act now, for we have him in our hands. The Chancellor's voice lowers to dangerous murmur. It would be much better if you stop now. Fuck you a little bit. You misunderstand, Lord Chancellor. I have no intentions of stepping aside. I am a man of my word, not a common brigand. Good, Heinrich. Well, Sterch, what will you do now? You miscalculated and now you have to follow the law. Olle grips the hilt of his sheathed sword, not afraid to show that he's ready for a fight. The Chancellor looks at you as if you were mere children, clucks his tongue and shakes his head regretfully. So many half-wits. The doors suddenly swing open and guards rush through, grabbing Olle before he's able to unsheathe his sword. You grab for your weapon, but like Olle, you are unable to unsheathe it before they have you in a tight hold. Take them both to the dungeon! Nice! Branching paths, consequences, I like it. You find yourself in a dungeon cell. The roof of your cell constrains you to kneeling or sitting. The slow drip drop of water is close by and it is a stark reminder that you are deep underground. Bugs have claimed your bedroll as their territory. Ola was taken somewhere else and you have not seen him since. You know, I figure um, throwing our lot in with that chancellor, since he's a bit of a total asshole <laughs> excuse my french there but uh, you know he's a manipulative schemer and we just play into his hand so i figure you know it's it's it's, it's useless he's gonna screw us over eventually anytime and um i'd rather have heinrich uh, do something honorable for once even though it's probably stupid and we just lost everything again but hey i don't mind a night has passed since the day you charged the Chancellor. Finally, when the tension has eased from you and exhaustion brings you the first inkling of sleep, you hear footsteps. A company of guards approaches. You have been summoned by his grace, the Chancellor. You will wash and we will provide you with fresh clothes. Come with us. You appear before the Chancellor, once again a noble, but the strains of the day and night show upon your face even if the dirt does not. The Chancellor waves a hand and the guards shut the door behind you. He speaks with a level tone. Heinrich, I hope you have had enough time to consider your actions. Let me explain a few things to you and I expect you to listen in silence. I don't care what kind of relations and agreement you had with Olle, and though you questioned my judgment, you did succeed with the given task. You brought Olle to me. I excuse your behavior as a very protracted and, protracted and tasteless joke. But I said silence. I have a mind to send you back, but that is no way to treat the son of an old friend now, is it? I suppose possessing a castle in such a ruthless manner is simply below you, so the ownership of the castle will go to another more trustworthy individual, but still I'll allow you to accommodate your people in that castle and even to receive a small income from it. Also, since you will soon be on the road again, I can't leave you penniless, so take this money. Now let's get down to business, shall we? I'm giving you a chance to prove to me that my decision to pull you from the dungeons was the right one, and this time no games and no bad jokes. Listen closely, what I'm about to tell you is of vital political importance. As you know, Windfeld stands amidst the confluence of three rivers. The rivers Firgitz, Moss and Elbe. These rivers divide the center of the duchy into three regions. Volmek in the west, Blaukam in the north and Fichten in the east. There is separate leadership in each area. The Red Wolves rule in Volmek. It's the oldest and most powerful knightly order in the duchy. They once talked to the Duke as if he was their servant, and their strength and reputation was such that he could do nothing about it. South of Blaukam are the lands which lie behind the mountains, and they belong to Otto, the Archbishop of Windfeld, the Mountain Pastor, as he's sometimes called. His vast lands bring great profit to the local churches, which makes the Archbishop one of the most influential people in Windfeld. 
And finally, on the south bank lie the lands of the Fichtens, the wealthiest kin in the duchy. The Fichtens patron us merchants and moneylenders and draw their wealth from the same purses. The problem we have is that every one of them hates the other. If the duke dies and leaves no living heir to his seat, all three of them will grapple so hard that it will be impossible to stop the feud. This seems to be what Enderlin is expecting. Interesting, but how can I be of help in this situation? You'll ruin the Landgraf's plans if you somehow convince them to make a truce, at least for the time being. But what can I do in this situation? I'm only one man and I'm not a skilled diplomat. Yes, we've established as much. <laughs> I do not have the time or the patience for modesty. You have an army and you have the right to take risks as well. I can't allow myself the luxury of risk, as any mistake will cost me dearly. You, however, do not have as much baggage. And you will not be alone, you will be accompanied by my most trusted man. Let me introduce you to Alban von Weiger. He's an, a very intelligent man, and he will ensure that you do not fail in your task. Oh great, that uh, dick from the um, first encounter where we got to the Chancellor will accompany us now. Werner nods to you and two guards open the doors. Alban meets you in the hall, his arms crossed, a slight smile over his face. You are the Chancellor's spy, I see. Ah, gentle and kind words, Heinrich. I understand we did not have the most pleasant of introductions, but hopefully your opinion of me will change. I'm at your service. I will make mark your map to direct your efforts. Gustav Falke, master of the Red Wolves, rarely leaves his lair, castle Wolfschanze. Now that's a bit of a name there. Um, in case you weren't aware, that's the name of the bunker that uh, Hitler built for himself in uh, the... Uh, I'm not even sure it's East German territory nowadays. I think it might be. In any case, maybe... Maybe a bit of a reference that... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, tickles uh, the German in me in the wrong way, but never mind. Uh, old Bishop Otto has made himself secure within Fortress Mittelburg in the mountains. Count Busso Fichten was not so careful regarding his safety and died under mysterious circumstances. The power in their family passed to his widow, Ursula, who you may find in Eagle's Nest. We should start by paying a visit to one of these people, and it would be best to visit all three of them in turn. Next, you'll have to do something to gain their confidence, as that will give your words higher impact when dealing with them after that. Well, we'll see. Okay, so how we... Uh, we have our stuff. We have our stuff. Okay. It's something. We have our stuff, we just don't have any troops anymore. Uh, I'm okay with living with this. I'm okay with going it, uh, of going about it this way, because this is something that, um, I don't know, I, I don't like the idea of Heinrich just selling Olle out at all. I, I just don't like it. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, we have a bit of an income. We need to go on a recruitment drive again. Do we have... Oh, we still have... We still have Glatze, so we have some troops waiting for us there. All is not lost, I would say. And we do have a mission now. Hmm. Right. Let's get to it then. Um, we have uh, to basically bring a modicum of peace to the land to unite it against the Landgraf Enderlin. And uh, yeah, we'll start on that next time. I thank you very much for watching. I see you then and bye for now.